So today we are doing an experiment in our class. Um, throughout the week we honor each other, we tell each other about their greatness, and we decided that every Friday we want it to be our Greatness Friday. And on Fridays, um, if there's a student who wants to honor another student, they get to put on these Greatness glasses. And these are glasses that I got from the Nurtured Heart Training in Arizona. They're so cool. So each student who honors another student gets the chance to put the Greatness glasses on. And with these glasses on, they're able to see greatness in their classmates. And I started it off um, way back when I came back from Arizona. Throughout the day when I'm teaching, if I see something that goes just over and beyond where the student is really shining, I grab the glasses and I'll put them on. And I told the first graders that this helps me to see the greatness in them. And as I'm wearing the glasses, I tell them all the great qualities and things that I see in them. And from that, they desired to put the glasses on themselves and share with each other the greatness they see. What are these, boys and girls? Great great glasses. glasses. These are my greatness glasses. What makes them great? Because they, because those Raise your hand. What makes them great, Jeremiah? The blinking He thinks the blinking mm -hmm. lights makes them great. The mm -hmm. Let's see. And, those hearts. and the hearts. Why do the hearts make them great? Because they um, help us love each other. They help us love each other. They're showing love. Boys and girls, I never heard these great answers. Good job. Joshua, who would you like to honor? Jamir. Jamir. Oh, wow. Jamir. Sure. Jonathan, would, Joshua would like to honor you. Jamir, look at Miss Mahone. Joshua would like to honor you. Would you like to be honored? Come here, please. Stand up. Stand up. I think being honored right now will make you feel a lot better. Come sit right here. Joshua, come and honor Jamir. Okay, he wants to honor you. He wants to tell you some things that make you really wonderful and great. Would you like to hear those things? Okay. He said yes. I like to honor him because when he's doing the wrong thing, he tries to figure his thing out. Even when no one's looking, he tries to work it out. But sometimes he does the wrong thing and he tries to get it out of himself. And then he tries to listen and follow the directions. And um, he shows integrity even when no one's looking. Sometimes he does the bad things and sometimes he tries to figure out the bad things. And don't do it so he could so he could get a good grade. Did you hear that, Jamir? Do you understand what he just said? Do you? I think he said some excellent things about you. He said sometimes you do make bad choices, but he, he does what when he makes those bad choices, Joshua? He tries to figure them out and make it so and um, have a good grade. You try to figure them out and make them right. And I think you've been doing an excellent job with that, Jamir. How do you feel? Happy. I can't hear you. Happy. Why do you feel happy right now? Because Josh was honoring you. You're making yourself proud because when you make a bad choice, you try to correct it and you do correct it and you make the bad choice right. And that's a good feeling, isn't it? All right? Would you like to say anything else? Josh, would you want to say anything else to Jameer? He does bad things to people, but he says sorry, and they accept it, and that's how the um, and that's how it just ends. You don't really have to fight. It's just you just have to say sorry, so you don't get in any trouble. All right. And when you say sorry, when you've done something wrong, how does that make the other person feel? What quality of greatness is that? What does it say about a person's greatness when they apologize? It says, it says that um, they really care about you. It says that that person really cares about you. And Jameer, we really care about you. And we want to honor you today, okay? Do you receive that? All right. You feel better? I, I need to see a smile. That's not a face that's showing they feel better. I, I don't see any teeth with that smile. I don't see any teeth. Now you look like you feel better. I'm so glad to see that happy smile. High five. You did an excellent job honoring him. Can you give him a high five? You feel better? All right. It's so important for the children at this age to know how powerful their words are. And usually at age six or seven, the kids are so greatly impacted by what others think of them. 
and they realize how easily it is for someone to change their mood or make them feel sad or happy. And at this age, normally happy or sad are the main emotions they can identify with. And you'll even hear them in the honor circles talk a lot about feeling happy because to them that's just like a great emotion that encompasses all when, when they're happy. And so the greatness circles helps them to know that anytime they see someone doing something great or good, they need to acknowledge that because they have the power to make that person feel happy or sad based on their words. And I just want to encourage you all to continue with the Nurtured Heart approach as well.